Well, do we have a treat for you folks now? I, I, I've got a couple of ladies out here that are just going <laughs> to blow you away. First of all, <laughs> Jana Jay in my, on my far right is here to visit with us. Janet, it's good to see you again. Wonderful to see you, Sam. Even and though we live close to one another, I'm, right. I never get to see you. You First, always... We, we did the show at my house That's that right. you did with me, so this is my first time to be in this beautiful studio. Isn't this awful? They're lucky... <laughs> Wouldn't you, They're would, lucky to have you, would you I'll like tell to have you. A, well, bless you. <laughs> Wouldn't you like to have one of these chairs? Oh, man. But that, not too good to play fiddle. I'll, I'd have I'll make to. it happen. <laughs> <laughs> we also Just have... Pop an unusual guest by the name of Violet Hensley. Violet, welcome. Thank you. It's very, very nice and very special to have you I'm here. I'm glad to be here. And so that I don't appear to be cruel and tasteless, would you tell the folks at home her age? This beautiful lady who can play the fiddle, dance, make fiddles, Whittle all sorts of, here's a little fiddle she whittled. She can say the alphabet backwards. She knows verses to all the old time <laughs> songs. And I can go on ad infinitum at 101 years of age. This is incredible. It's pretty this intense. This is incredible. Pretty intense. You are, <laughs> she is a treasure. She is a treasure. Well, Sam. I understand, Violet. Uh, you learned to play or I should, I'm getting the cart before the horse. You learned to build violins from your, from your dad? Yes, by watching him, he, he made his own fiddle. Now, Uncle Sam Brumley had a fiddle and wouldn't let him play it, his oldest brother. So he said he'd just make his own. <laughs> he made his own when he was 14 years old and I made my first one when I was 15. Do you, do you live in Yellville, Arkansas? I live in a house in Yellville. Okay. <laughs> I, I understand that. <laughs> Believe me, I understand that. Are you, have you always lived there? No. In, in Yellville? Well, the last today I've been living up here, but I've been, I grew up in Montgomery County, Arkansas. Okay. That makes you and me sort of brothers and sisters. So I'm from Arkansas. You're from Arkansas. Yeah, of course, I'm a border child. I grew up in Fort Smith. But <laughs> folks like you are rare. Very rare because of the talent. Now, you have 10 children, correct? Yes, sir. And uh, I, I have to ask you, do any of them play? Uh, Sandra plays the guitar. Luana plays the jawbone. And I think she can do some of the guitar, and she's beginning to learn on the fiddle. You're a pretty amazing lady. And Sandy can do some on the fiddle, too. You're 101 years old. You're out here, all of your faculties are cracking and popping, all your neurons are active. That's right. How do you, how do you stay so young? I'm 101 years and three months old. <laughs> I was, I'm sorry, I didn't quite get that three months in there. <laughs> what, what's the secret? If I had, if I gave it to you, then I wouldn't have it. Well, I know, but <laughs> well, maybe I want to do it too. Well. You don't drink strong drinks, you don't get, cuss out your neighbor, love your neighbor. You might get a little angry at one, but then stay away from them, don't bother them. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, have you guys played together before? Just a little bit this morning. Today's the day we met. Yeah, we just I met today and that. we were both so excited to meet one another. And uh, I'll tell you, she surprised me. She knows all these tunes and she gets all the notes. It's just incredible. You know, some people just kind of smush over the notes. She gets all the notes. She was working out one little part of old Joe Clark or something, and, and uh, she was determined to get every single little note in there, and she does it. May I pick your violin up, your fiddle? May I pick that up? Be very careful. Don't bump the peg. Oh, yeah, because it does go out of tune. <laughs> well, perhaps yeah. I better Here. not. No, I'll let me help. You. Oh, you can pick it up. It's just, if just you bump them pegs. That. I just want to turn it where they can get a good yeah, camera good. shot of it. How many pieces of wood are involved in this? How many different kinds of wood? How many kinds of wood? Let's see. Maple, pine, dogwood, walnut, and persimmon. Five. All can be found in Arkansas. Oh, What's well, the, the timber's cut on my dad's farm. The, the maple and the pine's cut on my dad's farm in Montgomery County, Arkansas. Ricky Skaggs has signed this fiddle. 
You know, he died over at Silver Dollar City one day. I've been working at Silver Dollar City, 51 Paul Festivals. She still works at Silver Dollar City. No kidding. She performs, yeah. Well, I hope they pay you a lot of money. I well, get... I don't really work there. I, I get paid for having fun. Okay. Jenna, <laughs> I'm going to give this back to okay. you so I don't do yeah. anything. I'll take it. <laughs> she's, well, she's a fiddle here's handler. Here's Ricky's signature, and he's one of our inductees. And she learned to play fiddle. She's two years old, didn't you say? Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Boy. Two I years old. And... <laughs> I was 12 before I learned to play for square dances. From 13 years to 18, I got married. My husband said he had two wrong feet. No more square dances. <laughs> the music you play, we hear a lot of talk about music, fiddle music that's being lost. Are we losing it? Has it been? Has enough been recorded? Or are there still pieces out there that we need to know about? There's still some. Occasionally, you go to Silver Dollar City and people come in and pick up my fiddle. Play on it here still, quite a bit of it. She I'm taught not... me two tunes today, two old-time tunes, yeah. She knows a, a vast number of songs. So you've been playing all your life. Oh, I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> and you're sharper than the average person, I have to tell you that. <laughs> At 101, I'm just blown away with this. Yeah. I am blown away. This is a treasure. <laughs> she is amazing. I started playing. I was about 12. I began to play the film. But when I was 13 to 18, I played for square dances in the wintertime. And we'd go to one neighbor's house and play for square dances. And we carried the fiddle in the plow sack. During the, <laughs> during the war years, that virtually, for a lot of folk, that was it in the terms of entertainment. Uh, you know, you get together at another person's home or in a church somewhere and, and play, And because by golly, not everybody had a radio even. Right. You know. We didn't have a radio. Yeah. And then the rhythm, you know, the fiddlesticks that I do, that's because that comes from... Oh, I didn't bring the fiddlesticks. You didn't I bring had your fiddlesticks? You had a pair? Fiddlesticks well, you've got in the my jaw double case at home. Oh, you've got the jawbone. I was saying this morning, we need a little rhythm, and... Somebody said, well, Wani has I her job I should have brought the 56% for Sandy to play. <laughs> Is there any particular type of, of music that you like more than anything, any other type? Plain old fiddling, back porch or front porch or whatever you want to call it. Old time fiddle. Old time fiddling. My did favorite the, fiddling. Did your early fiddles have, you know, four strings on it? Or did you start out with one or two strings? I never heard of one with just two strings. I've seen them, where a lot of people didn't have strings, so they played just with the two strings. Huh. Usually they're out of Virginia. Well, I did that once when the Alabama, my, my some uh, D and G state. fell down <laughs> low, and I was playing. <laughs> we played on just the and it by itself. Yeah, but but she made this fiddle. I mean, it's really a very nice shape, nicely shaped, nicely done, as if she had a pattern from a strat or something, and she had a pattern. How did you make the pattern for this? When I made my first pattern, I folded a piece of Montgomery Ward, Montgomery Ward catalog, cut it out, and then opened it up and got That was her pattern. That's incredible. <laughs> That's incredible. Have you a book? Did you write a book? Yes. So whittling, the, whittling and fiddling my own way. Whitlin and By Violet Henson with Randall Franks. Randall Franks did the writing. Do you have a book? It's still available. You can still buy, buy copies of it? Yeah. Now, you guys are all set, is my understanding, <laughs> to play some music know. for us today. Is sure, that right? we can do that. And <coughs> we, do have to, some along. we do have to invite everyone to the in, her induction. I, was, I the, was about to get to that. Oh, okay. All Ricky right. Skaggs is, who's autographed this and is known internationally, right. is going to be inducted into the National Fiddle Hall of Fame, as are you. And I think it's long overdue. You needed to be in that Hall of Fame years and years uh -huh. ago. Okay. Uh, March 30th, 7 p.m., and if they buy a VIP ticket, they get to come an hour early and hear the Baker family band. We've got so much talent, but I think I kind of know who's going to be the star of the show. Whoever could that be? <laughs> 
We've got all these amazing people, Ricky Skaggs and his whole band, <coughs> Kentucky Thunder, Michael Cleveland, who's a phenomenal talent uh, for Grammy and, and um, uh, Flame Keeper, is his entire band, the Baker Family Band. But I have a feeling that... Uh, you got Jamie Hagee? <laughs> do, the Grammy people, do the Grammy people know about her? Not yet, Sam. We're, we're counting on that. How do we get word to them? I, we need to do that. She Has she needs recorded to be... a CD? Oh, yeah. Well, I have to tell you, as, as an outsider to the music world, uh, I'm honored to have you here. Of course, Janet goes without saying, you and I as old friends. Thank you. Uh, but I had no idea that we had a legend this close to Tulsa, and finally in Tulsa, right. for an induction ceremony that's just going to blow the roof off the place. Really, it will. Are you guys ready to play a little bit for us? We can do it, Violet. You want to play a couple? Sure, two, three, or four. <laughs> All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take a little break, and when we come back, I won't even be in the picture, which is a thrill to a lot of folks. But we're going to come out on just these two ladies, and you're going to hear some real serious fiddling. So stay with us, and we'll be right back. 